the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us at this new Mass as we gather here in the second moment to prepare ourselves for Mass. Lord Jesus, who came to call sinners, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite, Christ have mercy. You believe for us at the right hand of God the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to an everlasting life. Yeah. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit she may be devoted to you with all her heart, and united in purity of intent. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you Tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that my hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power the power, O oh God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O oh kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Your word, O oh Lord, is the true consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifted up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the word headed them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is true. As you send me into the world, so I send them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated into the gospel of the Lord. I was so tempted to uh, share with you my reflection on both readings, but I'm going to uh, take back. Uh, I will uh, just share a short version of my reflection <laughs> so that uh, we could uh, go out there and distribute communion to the people out there. So I'm going to stay with the second reading of the Gospel uh, of St. John today. Jesus prayed to his Father, I do not pray, Heavenly Father, that you take them, my children, my disciples, out of the world. But I ask them, I ask you to protect them from the evil one. What does that mean? To begin with, I want to share with you um, um, the days that I went to high school in uh, um, St. Louis, Missouri. So, as you know, that um, I was a vote person. Um, it was U.S. Uh, Catholic charity that sponsored me from the refugee camp in Thailand to this country, together with my older brother who uh, had co-sponsored. And uh, so when I came to this country, long story short, um, the Catholic charity organization put me in a school where I could go to school. So I did not have a choice to pick what school to go to. So they put me at Soden High School in North St. Louis. Those of you who know St. Louis or Missouri, you know North and East St. Louis are dangerous areas to be in. It's getting worse nowadays. Even while going back more than 30 years ago, when I went to school, this neighborhood was a very dangerous neighborhood. Could you hear me back there? Oh, okay. I didn't have my phone on. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> so, um, North St. Louis was a, going back to more than 30 years ago. It was a very dangerous area. You know, all the businesses has bars around there. You know, places their business. Uh, you could hear gunshots during the day. <laughs> uh, I was wrong when I took the yellow school bus home, you know, and I was bitten up by, you know, this big guy. Um, it, it was chaotic, it was very dangerous, and that is where I went to school. I remember I was sitting in my chemistry class, the teacher was just crying at her desk. The children was running around, the boys were praying together, the girls, took out their makeup and put on, and this crazy. And so when I talked to people about the school where I went and I graduated from, they said, why did you go to that school? Why did you go to that school? It's, 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 
is not a good school. And I said, well, this is not about the school that is the problem, but it is about how you avoid the influence of the school, the influence of the evil around you, the bad people around you, how you could protect yourself from those, and then you rise up. It is not about escaping, it's not blame on the environment, but blame on oneself. That's what I was saying, trying to say. I said, look at me, yeah, that is where I came from. That was a place where I have to say, I am so proud to have a, um, a, 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 an, an advisor and counselor who were Catholic. And uh, they told me they were the one who suggested me to move on with my vocation to the priesthood when I was thinking of other careers. They, my advisor, Mrs. Uh, uh, Henry Hoffer, uh, she already passed away. And she said, she called me Ted. <laughs> because she could not pronounce my enemy's name, Tuan, T-U-A-N, so she said, I'm going to call you Ted. And so everyone called me Ted in high school. <laughs> That's another name that I carry out there. And uh, so she said, Ted, go to the priesthood. You could save your soul, and you could save people's soul. Don't go in other areas, especially entertainment, because it's going to destroy your soul. And I remember she gave me the prayer book, the Catholic prayer book, and she said, keep on. So that is where it's a place, even though out there in the public, uh, in society, people talk about how bad the school is, but not everyone in there is bad. There's always good people out there that are good and help us to pursue in the direction that God wanted us. And you know, the, it's, it's, it's up to each one of us to allow ourselves to be influenced by the world or not. It's all up to each one of us. We do have that freedom to allow the world to change us, to transform us, to be like them. So that, so I, I kept saying, yeah, that is a school where I went for four years. I graduated with the National Honor Society uh, degree and um, and now I'm a priest, I'm, I'm not a bad guy. So no blame on the environment, and that is the point that Jesus was talking to today. Even though the world is bad, is evil, even St. Paul, in the first reading today, he was talking about how, you know, we, I know that the moment when I leave the church in Ephesus, the savage wolves will come to attack the church and then even the members within the church would falsify the truth and convince people to, to follow them and let them go astray. I want you to be vigilant. Take care of the church and take care of your soul. And today Jesus even you know, in his prayer, he's talking about the world that we live in. The church is, is under attack and each one of us is living in a very dangerous environment, the world right now, see how much problem going on out there, especially during this pandemic. Does that mean that we have to be like the people out there? Do we have to be angry like you know, so many people out there? No, the point here is that don't let the world change you. Even Jesus did not ask his father to take all of us good Christians out of this dangerous, angry world. But he asked the Father, protect them from the evil one. So Jesus continued to pray that each one of us would be protected from the influence of the evil world out there. But we have to do something too. So how are we going to, to, to stop the influence of the world so that we, are, we live in the world but we don't belong to the world and we are not in the world? We have to pray. Prayer is so important. Pray under the, uh, going back to yesterday's reading, St. Paul was teaching, we have to allow the Holy Spirit to guide us in the way of truth. So is, is there the Holy Spirit out there? Could you find him? Well, find him. And talk with him and ask him to guide you in the way that God wants you to walk. God wants you to think. Not the word out there. So many voices out there telling us 
convincing us to believe what they believe. We don't have to. We have the freedom. So follow and be convinced by the direction of the Holy Spirit who could tell us to walk in the truth and the truth will set us free and will make us be happy and at peace with ourselves and with one another. And then secondly, I, I think that beside prayer, from my own personal experience, pick a saint that would help you or would lead you in the way that is pleasing to God. I have so many saints that I look up to in, in my life. For example, when I uh, struggle with, uh, with uh, my pastoral ministry, I always look back at St. John Vianney <laughs> and I just say, well, what are the examples, the virtues that this particular saint who is called the patron saint of Paris priest, that he could teach me so that I could deal with the people in the Paris and, and, and take care of my soul and, and, and save myself and, and help to save everyone uh, that is entrusted to my passive care. Or when uh, I struggle um, in academic, I could look up to St. Thomas Aquinas. You know, and uh, when, when I need to be kind of patient and quiet and, and, and not to be quick to anger and temptation, I would look up to my patron, Saint Saint Joseph. Or when I have to do, uh, if I want to, I, I struggle in my faith, and I look up to the mother of faith. You know, or when I have to, uh, you know, help the church to grow, uh, and 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 help people to understand uh, God is love, and 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 how to bring people back to God. I look at St. Francis of Assisi, we have the statue in the chapel back there. So there are so many saints that we could look up as our role models, how to move in this world uh, and, and help ourselves and help others, uh, and, you know, to be away from the influence of the evil world around us. So that is the meaning of the prayer that Jesus is offering today. Jesus continued to ask the Father to protect us from the evil one. And he does not ask his Father to take us out of this world. The reason is so that we could be strengthened by the grace of God to be more mature in the way we deal with the world around us. So my dear brothers and sisters, uh, just a reminder, so many voices out there to convince us to be angry and to, to, to follow false ideologies and philosophy out there. Go back to scripture, go back to prayer, get back to the truth, and then we will find peace with ourselves and with God and with the people around us. Let us stand and we offer our prayers. For our holy church, May she be guided in truth through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For all government officials, may the grace of God enleaven their hearts for peace and justice in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who feel alienated, lonely, or cast off, and for those whose human dignity is overlooked, let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may we be formed and transformed by word and sacrament and be united ever more closely to the Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may perpetual light shine upon them and may they rest in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. And for this afternoon's Mass intention is for the Mother's Day Novena. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, these are the prayers we humbly present in the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary. Hail Mary, for of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. 
pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So that you, Lord God of all creation, which in your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Said that you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Despite my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Except for Lord, we pray the sacrifices instituted by your commands. And to the sacred mystery which we celebrate as our beautiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work for which you are pleased to redeem us. We ask this to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in our selfways and always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heaven as the angel gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, church of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly stead, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and father, has gone before us. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, and souls in your grace, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hope sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Are ah, indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. A similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks as you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your just bread to our word and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Sam, our Bishop, Paul, his assistant, and all the clergy. 
remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the same commandment formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from the evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your hearts, peace I give you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you can away the sins of the world. takes away the sins of the world, blesses are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only the May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us. And by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thank you, God. Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you, Saint Michael. Thank you.